Hey everybody, it is Saturday night and I'm in the middle of a water change here on my 125 gallon native tank and I like to put at least one video out every day and today's video was going to be this water change video. I actually got started on this this morning and then I got a phone call and one thing led to another and now it is about 8 o'clock at night and I'm just actually getting to the water change part of it. So even though I've shot the opening sequences and I talked about what we were going to do and I talked about adding some plants in there. Um, I'm still working on the video. I haven't even finished the water change, so we're going to have to do the before and the after. I'm going to have to let the tank settle down, and, you know, once all the refilling is done, we're going to have all the debris floating around in the tank. So it's actually probably going to be tomorrow morning before I do the uh, final segment. So I thought I can at least give everybody a little bit of a teaser and let you know that there's going to be some plants in the tank from now on. Possibly. We'll see. Um... The idea is I had some java fern that I took out of my um, gudgeon tank over here. You can see this tank is a lot more open now. And when I pulled the stuff out, I also pulled a big piece of temple plant out. And it was all grungy and filthy. You can kind of see how it still is. It's got all that cyanobacteria stuff growing on it. This tank is due for a treatment here pretty soon. But in the meantime, I took the plants that I'd had in here and I put them in a five gallon bucket. I used a little bit of the um, Chemi Clean and an Air Stone and I got it all cleaned up nicely. And so we've transplanted all that stuff from that tank into this one. And that's my big piece of temple plant that actually is down in the gravel. And then the rest of it is the java fern. And I wound up breaking it up into a lot of little pieces so that I could tuck it here and there. The idea is if it survives, I want it to start growing on its own and, you know, attaching to the different pieces of wood and maybe working its way down into the rocks and spreading around the tank. But what I'm really expecting to happen is for the tilapia to get in there and munch on it and the crayfish are going to get in there and munch on it but I've had so many people asking me for so long to put plants in this tank even though I don't particularly want plants in this tank myself I thought you know can't hurt to try it I can always see what it looks like if I don't like it I can always take them out and as I keep saying I really don't expect them to stay in there very long anyway because of the um tilapia and the crayfish and I will also say on one final note I was really interested to see although I don't know why now that I'm thinking about it but I found it interesting that a couple of the uh, leaves from the temple plant had come off on, and you know were floating around they were all sort of soft and mushy you know the way leaves fall off of plants and get like that and the creek chubs that are in here were absolutely tearing it up they were loving that leafy greens that was floating around in the tank so again don't know why it surprised me that they eat leaves but they were so maybe we're going to have more to worry about in this tank than just the tilapia and the crayfish maybe the creek chubs and who knows maybe even the golden shiners as much as those golden shiners love the algae wafers they might be plant eaters too for all i know um again they probably are now that i'm thinking about it they're probably omnivorous they eat a little bit of whatever they can get their mouths on you know so we'll have to see they're in there for now. Once I get the tank filled back up, it'll probably look a lot different than it does now. So this is going to be your Saturday night teaser. And then if you're subscribed, you won't miss the actual video where I'm going to show you the full before and after. So you'll get to see what it looks like. And when I do the after, I'm going to have the full uh, lights all lit. The water's going to be nice and clear. I'm going to wipe the glass down. So it should be a pretty dramatic before and after video. And if you're subscribed, you won't miss that. So don't forget, this one is my 125-gallon native tank. The other tank we looked at a few moments ago was my purple spotted gudgeon tank hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you real soon on the next one